there are two versions of the gospel today. The long version has three parables. The parable of the lost sheep, the parable of the lost coin, and the parable of the lost son. You can find this in Luke 15, verses 1 to 7, and verses 8 to 10, and also in 11 to 32. You have a, a man carrying the lost sheep. The second picture is about the woman sweeping her house, putting lights all over because she lost a, a gold coin and found it. And finally, the parable of the prodigal son, or the lost son, that is also known as. It is also a short, also a short version of the gospel today, with the, only the first two parables: the lost sheep and the lost coin. The parable of the lost sheep and the lost coin. One day, when many tax collectors and other outcasts came to listen to Jesus, the Pharisees and the teachers of the law started grumbling. This man wealth comes outcasts and even eats with them. So Jesus told them this parable. Suppose one of you has a hundred sheep and loses one of them. What do you do? You leave the other 99 sheep in the pasture and go looking for the one that got lost until you find it. When you find it, you're so happy that uh, you put it on your shoulders and carry it back home. Then you call your friends and neighbors together and say to them, I'm happy. So happy I found my lost sheep. Let us celebrate. In the same way, I tell you, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 responsible people who do not need to repent. And here is the parable of the lost coin. Or suppose a woman who has 10 silver coins loses one of them. What does she do? She lights a lamp, sweeps her house, and looks carefully everywhere until she finds it. When she finds it, she calls her friends and neighbors together and say to them, I'm so happy I found the coin I lost. Let us celebrate. In the same way I tell you, the angels of God rejoice over one sinner who repents. Those are the two parables from the short version. You have a beautiful painting of the woman celebrating the fact that she found the lost coin, a very valuable coin, a silver coin. And then here you have the, the shepherd when he found the, the lost sheep, he carry, carrying uh, the lost sheep on his shoulder, going back home. Both of them very happy. However, without the parable of the lost son, we may be missing the main teachings from this parable. So here it is, from Luke 15, verses 11 to 32. Jesus went on to say, there was once a man who had two sons. The younger one said to him, Father, give me my share of the property now. So the man divided his property between his two sons. After a few days, the younger son sold his part of the property and left home with the money. He went to a country far away where he wasted his money in reckless grieving. He spent everything he had. Then a severe famine spread over that country and he was left without a thing. So he went to work for one of the citizens of that country who sent him out to his farm to take care of the pigs. He wished he could fill himself with the bean pods the pigs ate, but no, no one gave him anything to eat. At last he came to his senses and said, all my father hired workers have uh, more than they can eat, and here I am about to starve. I will, up, I will get up and go to my father and say, Father, I have sinned against God and against you. I'm no longer fit to be called your son. Treat me as one of your hired workers. So he got up and started back to his father. He was still a long way from home when his father saw him. His heart was filled with pity, and he ran, threw his arm around his son, and kissed him. 
father, the son said, I have sinned against God and against you. I am no longer fit to be called your son. When the father called to his servant, hurry, he said, bring the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and shoes on his feet. Then go and get the prize calf and kill it and let us celebrate with a feast. For this son of mine was dead, but now he's alive. He was lost, but now he has been found. And so the feasting began. In the meantime, the older son was out in the field. On his way back, when he came close to the house, he heard the music and dancing. So he called one of the servants and asked him, what's going on? Your brother has come back home, the servant answered. And your father has killed the prize calf because he got him back safe and sound. The other brother was so angry that he would not go into the house. So his father came out and begged him to come in. But he spoke back to his father, look, all these years I have worked for you like a slave and I have never disobeyed your orders. What have you given me? Not even a goat for me to have a feast with my friends. But this son of yours wasted, wasted all your property on prostitutes. And when he comes back home, you kill the price card for him. My son, the father answered, you are always here with me and everything I have is yours. But we had to celebrate and be happy because your brother was dead, but now he is alive. He was lost, but now he has been found. So what is this gospel about? These three parables. They are very similar, but there are main differences. There is a powerful reason why the church is giving us three parables instead of two in the gospel for this Sunday. In this first parable, Jesus is teaching us that uh, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 respectable people who don't need to repent. In the second parable, Jesus is also saying that the angels of God rejoice over one sinner who repents. In the third parable, Jesus is revealing to us that the Father accepts the Son that repents from his sins and welcomes back him. And at the same time, his other loyal Son, that whatever he has already belongs to him, and that there is no reason to be mad because your brother was dead. But now he's alive. He was lost, but now has been found. This gospel, the Lord is teaching us, and we should be able to identify and understand at least four important teachings. Teaching number one, the man who loses one sheep goes out to look for it, leaving the other sheep, which are not lost, to graze on their own. When he finds the lost sheep, he's happier for that one than for the other that were never lost. Happier. It doesn't mean that he wasn't happy about the other 99. He's happier because he found the lost one. The father doesn't want anyone that belongs to his son to be lost. He will welcome a truly repented sinner and restore his positions as his son. The father will welcome a truly repented sinner and restores his position as his son. Teacher number two, the man looking for the lost sheep is Jesus. He never quits looking for his lost sheep, a human being. And he is always trying to reach with his loving hand those who have been lost. It's really up to us to accept his invitation and go back to him. Teacher number three, the reason why Jesus is looking for the lost sheep is that the Father doesn't want any of Jesus' sheep to be lost. 
It's not because we deserve to be rescued. It's because our Father wants that Jesus have all his people with him. Question number four. When Jesus finds a lost sheep, he is very happy. That doesn't mean that he neglects the other who are not lost. It's about God-given right that everyone may have the opportunity to listen and accept him. And yes, including the unborn. The Son of God became a man to enable men to become sons of God. Some key concepts that you may find useful to remember. In the parable of the lost son, the two sons represent mankind as a whole. The older son represents the people of God that remain loyal to him and to his son Jesus. The youngest son represents a part of mankind that decided to distance themselves from God, living a sinful life, wasting their gifts and talents they got from God. When the negative consequences of a reckless life affects them, some of the lost sons eventually come back to their senses and repent from their evil ways. If we do get lost in our path to the kingdom of heaven, Jesus will never cease to look for us and he will be very happy when we repent and come back to him. The ones who lost everything are the lost sons. And when they repent and come back to the Father, he will be welcome as sons. And all their privileges will be restored. Everything will be restored. Jesus died for our sins. Forgiveness of sins is granted to those who repent from their evil ways and return to the Father. So let me ask you some basic review questions. Who is the man looking for the lost sheep? Who is the lost sheep? Or who is the last lost coin? What does a person who lost his way to sin needs to do to regain his status as the redeemed son of God? Who will never cease to look for the lost sheep? Why are we granted forgiveness for our sins? Reference we're taking from the Good News Translation and the Catechism of the Catholic Church. And also, in this meeting workshop, some reference we're also taking from the book Understanding Jesus' Miracles and Parables. This is about this three parables that I mentioned at the beginning of the evening workshop. This is Alejandro Burgos from El Paso, Texas. And this was the gospel for this Sunday. I see you next Sunday.